Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa. Drive a car that I haven't driven yet and surprised I have not yet. The new RTR of James Dean. The right hand drive RTR. Definitely a very interesting car with those aero wheels and everything in the back. But being right hand drive is definitely fun. I have my shifter on the right of me. Not the left of me, but that's just what I'm used to. So we're going to go be taking this for a full rip in the mountains. And see how much fun we can have. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All it's found in the description box below. I'll leave the link for the car in the description box below as well. <laughs> Let's get to it. So I've had my fair share of right hand drive cars before. So we should be able to drive this car without too much of an issue. Third gear, pop that in there. So this car is insanely powerful. As you guys know, the RTRs are insanely crazy power, and this car is nothing short of that. Of course, you know, why bring it to a competition track? Why not just go full send in the mountains because that's more fun, I feel. As we die! Mm. We didn't die. We didn't die fully. And that would have been uh, not fun if we totally died already. Try not to die as much in this episode. So I think we need to take this car first, like, Pike's Peak. Let's see if we can drift Pike's Peak with this car, because this car is insane. If you want to see, maybe see this RTR first Pike's Peak, let me know down in the comments. We're digging dirt there. Let me know down below if you possibly want to see that. Oh, I thought that turn was heavier than it was. It's this one. Wrong turn. So the detail on this model is quite, quite insane. It does have, you know, Adam LZ and Chelsea Nofas and Ron's livery, but it is the right-hand drive version, which only is true to run, you know, James Dean's car. I think we're getting, uh... We're definitely ripping this car as much as possible on these tight twisties. I think I need to take this car out onto uh, some FD circuits as well. It, I'm surprised it's taking me this long to find this car and drive this car. I wish going to fourth. Every time I think we should go into fourth, we hit these turns, but if we just clutch kick it like that, it should be okay. It's a little dirt drop, we got it. Oh, we're doing a lot of dirt dropping, which, you know, is par for the course with James Dean in the last FD round going off the course, and, you know, into the dirt. But definitely don't want to be doing that too much. This R12 is definitely uh, throwing down so much feedback. I've been absolutely loving the R12. Oh man, there we go. Like I said, I'll leave the link for this card down in the description box below if you guys want to give this car a shot yourself when you don't have this car yet. I forgot how many twists are in this road. Red Tail of the Dragon or Deals Gap, you know, 318 turns, 11 miles, not a big deal, right? Just a chill, uh, chill Sunday drive here on the mountain roads in a, you know, 
1100, 1200 horsepower, you know, RTR, FD car. No big deal, right? So other than that first off, not doing too bad. I lost focus. Not a ruler. Trying to remember this track. But I think this might be a fun car to take. Oh, jeez, to bike speak. And see if we can't beat Pike's peak with this car. Because we did fail. Oh, jeez. We did fail Pike's peak with the Huna Pegasus. We we're testing out the KS wheel. Unfortunately, Pike's Peak bit us there, but maybe if we're in a drift car, we're trying to drift it, maybe we'll be able to accomplish it. Because, well, I'm way better at uh, drifting sometimes than I am racing. I think I remembered to turn tire wear off, otherwise we would have absolutely no tire wear off. Probably one of my favorite tracks to drive. Some of these drift cars just in sync of just sliding around corners and oh, we stalled it. We should have been third there. Just constant back and forth and drifting because it's such a fun map to drive on. We're gonna go off. Yep. Forgot that turn decreased a lot faster than I expected. The fact that I can touch kick this car in third gear is quite insane to me. Dirt. You know, I keep dirt dropping because this thing has such a big rear end that it's just out there and just so far picks up the entire road. Stay in your lane challenge would almost be impossible with this car. car just lights up the tires so if you guys want to keep seeing more with this car or the cars we build attractions this week like i said i'll leave the link for you guys to try it down below off of Austin's website gonna be bringing back the live streams and stuff like that here very shortly as well been uh, a little busy recently with a lot of things in the summer with real life competitions and things like that i've been doing so I've been a little, uh, little laxed on the content, but we are going to go back into full swing here. So if you guys want to see something specific, maybe different games and things like that, let me know down in the comment section down below. Definitely excited for, you know, Forza to come out later and everything like that. We're going to be grinding that when it comes out. We are just ripping the mountains. So I think that'll do it here for this episode we finished the run so if you guys enjoyed this all the different angles with the you know in car as well as the third person camera and chase so make sure you guys follow me on all social media i'll follow in the description box below and as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track